Hey everybody, so a subject I've been meaning to cover for ages. Um, I in fact did this video a long time ago and I basically didn't like the way it came out because I had all sorts of fucking traffic issues and all sorts of shit ruined it. Anyway, so, kids. People have said, what are my future plans? Do I want to have kids and stuff like that? Um, the short answer is no. No, 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 no. <laughs> basically, the reason I don't want to have kids is because I don't... I've, I've never felt like I should have kids. I'm not in a position that I am financially stable enough to do something like that. And I have no wish to do it. I, I know for some people, their, you know, their aim in life is to you know, grow up, get a job, have kids, get a family and do all that shit. And I can appreciate why people would want to do that. But personally, it's not something I ever want to do. And people say, oh, but you know, you're only 28. I'm sure you might change your mind in the future. And it's like, well, if ever since I was about 18, and I'm now 28, nearly 29, I've always thought an absolute, no, it's a road I never, ever want to go down. Um, I don't think I'm about to change my mind on it. And you might then say, well, what about Mrs. Spice? She might want to have kids. How's that going to, well, this is how much of a stupidly level-headed guy I am. When we first started going out, I, we, I said, look, let's just talk about this because the kids issue can be a ticking time bomb in a relationship. If one side wants to have kids and the other side doesn't, and they're both as adamant as each other on the fact, it is a relationship ender. Um, and it doesn't matter how long your relationship goes, it could be, as I say, this ticking time bomb that will just ruin everything. So we spoke about this in our early days, and thankfully, Mrs. Spice is in the exact same frame of mind as me. She doesn't want to ever want to have kids. It's not something that's ever been of interest to her. So, that's a fucking relief, I guess. <laughs> Makes things a lot easier. But as I say, I, I like the idea that I won't ever be tied down too much. Um, I'll always have the freedom to, to do what I want. And I, I don't want to say that it ruins some people's lives, but... It seems that some people get very resentful for the fact that they've had kids and they can no longer do this, that and the other. Of course, part of having kids is continuing the family line. And when my brother found out that I wasn't planning to ever have kids, he was like, what? Oh, sort of kicked off a little bit. And I was just like, are you being fucking serious? I don't want kids, end of. Um, as for continuing my family name, um, it will be continued through my brother's had two nieces, my two nieces. So that took the pressure off of me and my sister, because my sister, she's uh, older than I am, and she definitely doesn't want kids either. So when we found out my brother was having kids, we were just like, oh, God, yes, there you go. We can, we can take that part of it out. Family line has been continued. The bloodline is still going. The name is still going to go on. Yeah, I'm of the opinion that if you're going to have kids, you should have a stable relationship that isn't about to fall apart under the, under the extra pressure of you know having kids. You should be financially stable and be able to supply that child with the, you know, the love and care and attention and, and money and supplies and everything that he needs to make sure that it has a nice upbringing. Part of it might be the fact that my mum and dad split up when I was six and I didn't really see my dad an awful lot. I used to see him at weekends and we used to go and do bits and pieces, but that very soon turned into me doing work for him like chopping up three tons of logs on a Saturday afternoon with an axe or uh, working on his boat or something like that um, which I admit it did teach me a lot of stuff but it wasn't like he was there teaching me <laughs> he used to have this little habit of um, like we go around there and he goes oh you know how to sand stuff don't you I'm like yeah he goes well this entire like bumper on the side of this boat needs um, sanding down I'm just gonna go upstairs and change my trousers that's what he used to say then an hour later, you'd see him at the window with a cup of tea in his hand, thumbs up. Oh, you're all right. Oh, yeah, great, thanks, mate. I feel like a fucking slave here. <laughs> As I say, it did teach me a lot, um, mechanically, and you know how to how to do things and use tools and stuff. So I suppose there was a good side to it. But where are you going, mate? You're a fucking penis, aren't you? And I saw how difficult it's been for my mum to bring up three kids on her own. It basically ruined us financially. Um, we had to put our house on equity release, but 
but I do think my mum did a fucking good job with the cards she was handed. I haven't seen my dad in quite a few years. Um, he moved away from here and basically, you know, relationships just fall apart. Especially as, you know, I just, I didn't like the way I was treated and it led me to, you know, it wasn't, I wasn't drawn to wanting to know much about him. But that's just normal family shit. I'm sure many, many of you have been through the same stuff. But maybe that's the reason why I've come to this decision that, you know, you really shouldn't have kids unless you're absolutely in the right situation to do it. Fucking hell. You know, people who uh, have kids that are like 17, 18, their, their parents had them at 17, 18, and the, the way it works is the, the nan, as it were, looks after the kids while the fuck me! While the, um, the parent of that child's off doing whatever they want, so they've still got some of a life and they're surviving off of benefits and shit like that. I don't, I don't want to stereotype everyone like that. Having a young parent can be a good thing. Uh, it means that when, you know, when the kid's grown up a bit, you've still got a young parent who can look after you and have fun with you and do stuff. But it really disgusts me when I see people having kids for no other reason than to bring benefits in. And also when people get into arguments and people split up and then there's arguments on a custody and people start using kids as weapons against each other. Like, oh, you're not going to see the kids if you do that. It's fucking wrong. Because people are not putting their own personal wants and needs and, you know, anguish and bitterness aside for the, for, for the good of their child. What they're doing is using their child as a weapon and possibly fucking up their life because they're not giving them the, the, the equal basis of having like a mother and a father and and that as I say I've been I've basically grown up grown up with just a mother but I think it I think it was fine for me it all depends on who's bringing you up I guess and so some people may still say to me oh you know in years to come you might change your mind I very very much doubt that I don't hold the same value to the human race as some people do I don't believe that we need any more kids people don't need to un unnecessarily have children there's seven billion of us on this planet and it's only gonna get worse. And it does take some people to be responsible and say, you know, maybe I won't have kids. Obviously, if you wanna have kids and you're gonna feel like your life isn't complete if you haven't had them, then feel free. Just bring them up in a loving environment, teach them. Don't let them turn into little fucking shits. I don't know it's difficult for parents these days to bring up kids and not let them go down that road because they, they're at school with some children that are like that. But when I see kids that are like six, seven, swearing and telling their parents to fuck off and stuff, it's like they didn't learn this language from anywhere else but their own parents. And, and the way that their parents act comes back onto the kids. So, you know, you bring a kid up like a dick, it's going to be a dick. Anyway. I think that covers it all, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, I think. Anyway, catch you next time. There we go, still in third gear. Have not changed gear. Gone through two junctions and around some corners. This is the answer. I, 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 who needs a fucking gear shift? I might just snap it off now.